today we're at our favorite banh mi place in the whole of vietnam it's called banh mi chai it's in hoi an and we're leaving hoi an after we've had this we're heading to da nang and then we're gonna head down south towards ho chi minh it's gonna take about 15 16 hours maybe a little bit more so we're stopping a few times on the way our first city is like six hours away so we, we need to eat first and then get a move on we've been driving for like two hours probably and we're still like four hours away from our stop for the night but we've just stopped in this small town i don't even know what it's called to be honest i i didn't even check the name but we were hungry so this restaurant is so random like as soon as we walked in they just gave us a plate of food we didn't even order we didn't see a menu and like the people were so happy to see us they must see foreigners in this small town like like every few months maybe like because We've been getting stared at quite a bit. We've just been walking around trying to find shop and we had like a few little kids run up to us asking what our names were and telling us their names. It was really cool. Didn't get it on the GoPro but it's on my phone so I'm going to show you it now. What is it? My name is Liam. My name is Liam. Nice. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. 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 This is like one of the best parts of traveling when you're in these little towns where they don't get much tourism and it's like you can just see how happy people are to see tourists like it's just it's really good isn't it like it, it, it's a really good part of traveling but now we need to get on the bike we're really behind and we need to get to our hotel because it's getting late and it's already dark we've been driving for about an hour now we've just pulled over on the side of the road you can hear a lot of noise and that's because we found a fair we're gonna go in and just have a little look for like 10 minutes because we want to get to our hotel but we do want to check this out because it is kind of mad hi this is so weird so strange and, uh, Good, you go, you go for it. Yeah, yeah. The music is good. Hi, hi. It's good. Hi. 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 Hi, you chow. You chow. This is an unreal experience. Like, we're in such a small town, and we're like, we're like celebrities. It's so cool. We checked into our room and it's actually really nice. We've got a double bed each, a TV, probably a smart TV. Yeah, but confirm that no. The beds are so hard. Oh, rocks. <laughs> I thought in Kaobang I slept on the hardest mattress, but this is literally like sleeping on wood. It's day two on the road to Ho Chi Minh from Da Nang and we've just woke up got ready and we're ready to go we've got a four and a half hour drive to Quai Non which is where we wanted to get to yesterday but we kept getting stuck at toll roads 
one of them wouldn't let us through. We don't know if we just didn't go down the right lane. So we had to turn around and it took us like a lot longer than we thought. So now we're on the outskirts of Quangai. We're leaving here, we have to drive inland a little bit and then back down the coast. But hopefully today we get to Kwai Non. We've made our first stop in Guangai and we're getting some food. Morgan's forgot his wallet at the place that we were at. Luckily it's only half an hour away so it's not that far to go back. So I decided to wait for Morgan and let him go back along because I need to just download a bit of video on the laptop because I've got no memory on the SD cards. He's back, he forgot his reading glasses as well so it is lucky he went back. Now we're going to head to Koi Nam which is our stop of the day. The heat here is unbelievable. Like as we're getting more and more south, it's getting hotter and hotter. And I don't think I've ever been in a situation where I've been riding a bike and still been absolutely sweating. Like the heat, even though you're driving, the wind's hitting you. It's just unbearable. It must be like 30 or 32 degrees. And it is the heat. It's thick. Like you, we were driving, and it was cool. It was all right, and then suddenly we hit like a wall of heat, and it, it's it's not nice to driving. But we've only got an hour and a half left before we get to where we're going. We've literally pulled over on the side of the road again. Morgan's over there. Look at this. Look at the size of that Hindu statue. I think it's Hindu. I might be wrong if I'm wrong. Comment below, but it is huge. We were driving along the road and you could see it the entire way. Like, it's massive. We're gonna try and go up, I think. If not, I'm gonna send a drone up. just arrived at our homestay in Kwai Non and it is right by the beach as you've seen just then we pulled out right into the beach but we've come back a little bit into these alleyways and our homestay is here and it's actually fairly decent once again we've both got a double bed each the family were really nice they gave us a bottle of water when we arrived plants everywhere it is really nice and this is our room. We've got aircon. We've got the strobe lights going with the camera. We've got a fan and we've both got a double bed each with plugs, which is always handy. And the bed is a bit comfier than last night. We went out to get some food earlier. Didn't record it. And now I'm going to sleep. But tomorrow, you're going to wake up to one of the nicest views ever because that beach and that view from where we're staying is amazing. See you in the morning. It's day three of our motorbike trip down to Ho Chi Minh and we've got to leave this beach now because we're heading to the Trang. But on the way, we're going to be hitting a waterfall which we can do some cliff jumping at. But it takes about five hours to get there so first we have to go get some food. We've come to get some food where we got some last night. So I've got a Po Chai bowl which is just all noodles, veg and like tofu and stuff. With some cold tea. Morgan's doing a fruit diet, so he's not eating anything except fruit and he's eating veg and veg. So he's not getting anything right now, but he's going to be starving in like three or four hours time when we've been driving and he's only eating mango. We finished here, we're going to be hitting the road now to try and get to Baoho Falls, which is about three hours away. It says 3.45 on the map, but we think we can do it in like three, maybe a little bit less. So let's go. So we don't actually know if we're going to be doing Bajo waterfalls today because my bike's died. It won't come on every time I turn the key. Nothing. Like we pulled over for like a couple of minutes just to look at this view because this view is unreal and get some pictures. But now the bike won't start. So we could be here for a while. Uh, I don't really know what to do. Make sure you come back next week to check out the second half of what happened here in Vietnam and how we sorted the bike out 
and watch the rest of our 1,000km road trip through Vietnam. And remember, keep exploring.